What up, everybody? This is your boy Black Megas and story time. Interesting story. Um, kind of a weird set of events that happened. Um, so I made a video the other day where I was asking people, like, have you ever thought of yourself as being a bad person? And of course, I didn't post the post the video because I totally forgot. But I'd asked a friend, "Am I a bad person?" And you know, just with everything going on and all the confusion and the drama that's going on in my life, I just felt really bad because I had mentioned something to another friend, and I had felt like I was trying to like trick them even though I wasn't and it just that moment right there just culminated into me just like what is going on with me like what is happening for me so talk to a friend you know my best friend and you know she helped me like get things in order and I say all this because today, I find it very, very weird that I am actually not in a down mood. And I think part of it is because I realize, like, I can't just keep letting everything beat me down and let the noise take over, as I like to say. Because, you know, when you have a lot of things going on, you're always trying to figure out what you need to take care of, how you're going to take care of, um, you know, and you're never really able to move on to the next because so much is coming at you at once. But after that talk, I feel like, you know what, I can only do is do what I can do. I'm not a bad person. I, you know, we all have periods in life where we're down and things will be okay, you know, God, God willing, everything will be okay. I just need to do what I need to do, keep faith, and I'll be alright. Now, I say all that to get to today's story. So, some of you may know I do DoorDash and I was doing DoorDash when I was taking a delivery to someone and my tire pressure light comes on. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, I just put air in the tire. You know. So, I get out of the car to go get the people's food to take it to them. And I just hear this, like, hissing sound. Like, wild, wildly loud hissing sound. And I'm like, oh, shit. So, I go and I look at the tire that I had put air in. And sure enough, there's like a huge gash. I've never seen... I've had some weird experiences with tires. I don't know what it is with me and tires. We we don't get along. <laughs> um, but there's this weird, like, hexagonal gash. But it's not a full, like, gash in the tire. It's like someone peeled the tire. To where you can see the threads. And there's just like air just rushing out of it. And it started to swell. I'm like, what in the world is going on here? This is some weird shit. And I just like, you know, so I took the person to the food. I got back in the car. I just had to laugh. It was like, oh my God. Just please let me get home with like a lot. Because I was somewhere where it wasn't like too far off from home, but I was about 20 minutes from home at least. And having to travel that far with that tire, I was like, oh, that ain't gonna happen. So luckily, I was able to get on and off the expressway for one exit to some place where I knew there had to be a gas station with a garage, and there was one. So they charged me $35 to change my tire. Yes, I don't know how to change the tire. I know I should learn how to change my own tire. 
leave me alone. I will, I will look it up on YouTube, please. For all those people who may say something about that. Um, but yeah, got it changed. And I was just like, you know what? I can't drive around because I have to go like through highways and expressways. And you're not supposed to drive long distances, you know, on the spare tire. Like me going from where I'm at to home at 20 to 30 minute ride, that ain't good. But I know how to go through the like um, back streets to get home. So I don't have to put too much speed on the tire. But I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go get me some chocolate. So I went to get me some chocolate. And I was near Walmart. And I was like, oh, chocolate will be cheaper at Walmart. That ain't work out because the Walmart was on fire, ladies and gentlemen. So I had to go to CVS and get my chocolate. Like, so weird. The Walmart was on fire at that moment. Like, Life is strange. Life is very strange. Life is... But you know what? It ain't as bad as life we all make it out to. Like, yeah, I still got a lot of stuff that I need to take care of. Including getting this money for this tire. Uh, together. The gas station was going to try to charge me like $150 for a tire. I was like, uh, no. I know where to get a used tire for half that price at least. So, yeah, we are not going to do that. And so in the morning, I'm going to get up and I'm going to see about getting a tire. Crazy, but yeah. But hey, I got my chocolate. I'm going to go and I'm going to grab something to eat. I'm going to go do homework. Chill out. Probably play some Fortnite, which... I've oddly enough been highly addicted to. But anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you to all the people who have um, sent donations um, and who have sent kind words, well wishes, all of that. You guys are amazing. I truly appreciate you. And, you know, hey, God is good. As I go through this, like, um, period, I feel like I'm hitting a, um, changing point, at least in my mentality, if anything. Things may not be all that better, but, you know, God bless my best friend for, you know, the talk she gave me. Love her to death. But yeah, it'll be alright gonna be alright. Anyway, as always, you guys, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. It's your boy, Black Megas, and I'm out. Jesus.